Welcome to this BuddyBase University series based on version 3 of BuddyBase. Our aim is that by the end of this course you'll be able to become a confident BuddyBase user who's able to take your ideas and data and turn them into usable actions. The series will cover four main areas. Data, design, automation and administration. Let's look at each of those briefly in turn now. In the data section, you'll define your data structure, manage who has access to which records and columns, and control what actions users can take. We also have access to row actions, which allow us to create and apply automations at a row-based level from the data section. BuddyBase supports a wide range of data sources, from relational databases like Postgres and MySQL, to non-relational databases like MongoDB, to data stores like S3, and even spreadsheets like Google Sheets. This is alongside BuddyBase's internal data storage, which uses CouchDB for storage and SQLite for querying. Depending on the data source you choose, the options for securing and structuring your data will vary. For querying-based data sources like MySQL and Postgres, you'll be able to create custom queries to be able to access and display your data in more nuanced and customized ways. This flexibility will allow you to create tailored views and automations based on how row interactions happen throughout your application. For example, you can add buttons that might trigger workflows like moving a record through a pipeline. Another powerful feature within this area is views. These allow you to filter your data based on specific criteria, like only showing records for the current logged in user and also allow you to secure your data. Once views are created, they can act as the data source for your screens and components when you get to the design section. You can even auto-generate screens directly from the data section, giving you a head start in building your app's functionality. Additionally, for data sources like REST, we can transform the data using JavaScript. The JSON data is formatted in the most useful way for your front end. Next, we've got design. This is where you'll build the screens that your users will interact with. BuddyBase provides a wide variety of components and features with popular ones like our auto-generated screens, forms, and spreadsheet-like tables. Using our new drag and drop interface, you'll be able to quickly design your page using our built-in components, switching easily between the different responsive breakpoints and updating your components layout based on that. Whether you're working with tables, with side panels or modals or other layouts, the platform provides the flexibility to create great looking and flexible applications. In the automation section, you'll set up automated workflows that are triggered by a variety of events. These can include webhooks coming externally from our application, cron jobs so it's running at particular times of the day or the week or the month, or actions within BuddyBase where a button is pushed and triggers a workflow or a row is updated, created, or deleted. Automations help streamline processes by triggering backend workflows based on actions carried out within our application or over time. This ensures that your application can work smoothly without external intervention. And finally, we'll dive into the admin area. This gives you full control of your application settings and management. You'll be able to manage users here or bulk import them with CSVs. Equally, you'll be able to organize and manage permissions based on group roles. You'll also be able to add and remove plugins from this area, access our Verify plugin repository, or use the documentation to help build your own plugins to extend the functionality of BuddyBase. In the settings section, we've got the ability to add single sign-in support using OIDC or Google. You can add emails so that your application can email your users or you based on events that might happen within your application or, or the ability to renew passwords and also adding organizational branding. And finally, the account page will allow you to view analytics, showing row counts and automation runs. And depending on your subscription tier, we'll see limits here and have the option to upgrade. This course will dive deeper into each of those areas. So by the end, you'll be fully equipped to use BuddyBase to its full potential. Let's get started.